All right, so we'll start with the first low flow oxygen device, which is a nasal cannula. A standard nasal cannula can deliver one to six liters of oxygen. And we'll talk about that shortly, what that kind of converts to in the amount of oxygen they're actually inspiring or their fraction of inspired oxygen or FiO2. So a standard cannula, uh, nothing really special about this. First of all, it will plug in the flow meter and that's very fairly simple. You have to have a Christmas tree as we've shown before. Plugs in right here. I always start the oxygen flow. I turn the knob counterclockwise and let's go with three liters here. The ball is at right in the middle of three liters. Now I'll show you how to apply it to the patient's face. All right, so now I'm gonna apply this to the patient's face. You're gonna notice that there is a little bit of a curvature to these cannula prongs, as you can see it. What you wanna think about are these going in and following the path of um, the nasal cavity. The nasal cavity does not go up, it goes back and around. So these things always curve back like this. If you put them on backwards like this, it's gonna oxygenate the epithelial cells on the inside of their nose, but not get down into their oral pharynx down to the lungs where you really need. So curving back, I always put it in the nose first, a little bit of pressure. Of course, I'm gonna put it around this ear, and then I'm gonna show you for this side how it goes over the ear and under the chin, and then this piece right here kind of goes tight. You don't want to go too tight with it, just enough to secure it. And then sometimes I do a little bit of adjustment to what feels best for the patient. One real key, don't do it too tight. Uh, a lot of the tubing is now made so that it's soft because this can cause some a lot of breakdown, hospital acquired uh, pressure ulcers, especially on the tops of the ears. And then if it's real tight across the skin right here, this, of course the skin's very thin, and then right under the nose if this is pulled really tight and it's not frequently moved. So this is how nasal cannula is run, of course. Um, it's going to go back into the nasal cavity and it's going to act almost like a reservoir so when they take their breath in, they'll pull that fraction of inspired oxygen down to their lungs and then they exhale and take the next breath in. So this is standard nasal cannula review, one to six liters. If the patient is on greater than three liters, we recommend humi a humidifier or what we call a bubbler. And what that does, it just helps to humidify the air so it doesn't dry out their nasal mucosa.